Hello fellow colorists! Welcome back to the channel, J.I. Colorist. My name is Jody, and I'm super excited today because I just got back from my post office box and picked up a parcel that I have been waiting for. Uh, so this is going to be an, an unboxing and a review of two items that were sent to me uh, for free by Outdoor Tide. I have uh, worked with them once before in the past and they were having or are having some Black Friday sales. I did post in my community uh, tab last week their discount codes that are currently going on. There's uh, multiple layers of discounts. Uh, so the more you order, the more discounts go up. So I will leave all that in the video description and I won't even try to explain it to you here. Just know that uh, there are some Black Friday sales going on and that uh, I'm sharing them with you so that you can make your money go the furthest. So without further ado, let's get into the parcel. So the parcel was wrapped uh, just in this large bag. I will uh, simply open, I've cut the bag open with a knife and I will review or remove two items. So just so you know, the bag is the uh, flimsy, well, sturdy but flimsy plastic. There's no other packaging inside the bag. Both items did come though in a box. Uh, the box is a little bit uh, squished or beat up, but um, they still are uh, somewhat intact. So uh, they sent me two items. Let's take a look at each of them separately. So the, on the outside it just says uh, DIY diamond painting. On the back just explains a little bit about diamond painting. Sorry for the glare. Let's get into opening this one. So it's, the box is taped closed. I'm not sure which item this is. They sent me two items. Okay, this, I'm gonna shut the light off. And so hopefully there is enough light and let me uh, adjust the camera for a second. Okay, the lighting is adjusted there, but still shaking out stuff from inside the box and that's it so this was the outside of the box this is what was inside the box we've got um, a toolkit that has wax a boat a pen no squishy but it does have the hardware for a chain and this is a beautiful wreath so it is diamond painting going to be on one side because obviously the reef uh, will hang on a door. Um, let's get a ruler and tell you how big this is. So in inches, it's nine inches across and nine inches. So it's a nine by nine, uh, which is a really nice size for those people in uh, Canada and Europe. That is approximately 23 centimeters by 23 centimeters uh, because it does go out a little bit. It's very, very nice. We're going to have some different shaped uh, diamonds. So it looks like um, there's going to be diamonds around the edge of the uh, leaves here, but not uh, filled in fully. So uh, the picture itself will shine through the uh, diamonds. That's pretty, very pretty. Let's take a look at the diamonds. I'm going to take them out of the package so there's less noise. Okay, so there are nine, a total of nine different gems on this one. We're gonna look at the back. There is a ton of different sized rhinestones and some different colors. And there's some larger gems, different shapes, some white. Oh, these ones are very interesting. Some medium sized ones flat based baubles. So I've never had any uh, gold solid ones. So those would be the, uh, it says E. So E would be these small berry like items will be that. And uh, compared to how many uh, berries are on here um, versus how many you get, you're going to have 
quite a few extra so you will have lots extra in the kit oh i'm excited the uh holes are pre-drilled here for the uh, hardware to hang so that's good and yeah i think this will be gorgeous when it's done and i don't currently have a wreath i do plan on hanging it on an inside door not on my uh, exterior door um, so it will be an inside wreath but i think that's uh, that's a lovely size okay let's uh package this up and see what else they sent while we package this up i do really like the fact that these came in a sturdy cardboard box even though it was a little bit squished uh, there was no breakage or anything and there are quite a few edges on that so uh, definitely need it to be in a box to be protected so uh, good on outdoor tide for that okay the next one same type of box uh, so that's interesting and not really sure if you were going to buy multiples of these, you definitely would want to open them before gifting them, just so you know which one you were giving away. Okay. This is part of their Christmas uh, items. Oh, right. Okay. Now this is another uh, ornament type thing. This one comes with a stand and it is a Christmas tree. And again, it'll be on the one side. So um, I thought it would even look really cool if I have the uh, dollar store tea lights uh, that I could set this up on the stand. So there's a stand that this will stand into. So it'll be like a centerpiece and uh, you could put a tea light behind it and it would uh, glow through. So yes, and this one is a full, full kit. Lots of different I'm excited to see these gems, so let me grab open this. Okay, we'll look at this uh, toolkit first. Uh, we've got the standard pen, boat, and a slice of wax. No squishy and no other hardware because there is no other hardware. This will just snap right into uh, the slot, so that's excellent. Let's take a look at the drills. Lovely. I'll turn the light on for this part. Some tear shapes. Round. The marquee cut shapes. Large round. Oh, those are just beautiful. Some rhinestones. Lovely green color. Red, of course. Oh, beautiful turquoise. Lovely, yeah. Love that. And then we've got a darker amber color and some orange. Those will be great. Let's take a closer look at the, uh, I'll turn the light off again. Take a closer look at this. It is going to be dimension wise from the tip to the bottom, it's uh, nine inches, and then you've got a uh, half an inch here where the stand will go, but the item itself is, uh, the dural field is nine inches, and then it's about six inches wide. So lovely. Okay, and in uh, centimeters, that's gonna be 23 centimeters by about 15 centimeters. Lots of fun colors, and uh, yeah, this is going to look beautiful. They did have a number of um, Christmas trees on their uh, the selection, and uh, I had did have a hard time picking which one I wanted to do, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the one that was sent to me, and in the description below will be links to the two products that I actually am showing on screen, and then a general link to their website, so yes. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm so excited, um, I'm going to do a little bit of work on it and just uh, see how the uh, drills are attaching and uh, that'll tell us whether or not uh, the field is sticky. They do have, uh, they're both one-sided so that's excellent and they do have a clear film that you simply pull off and uh, then attach your drills to. 
So let me get set up and we'll uh, do a little bit together. Okay, for our short demonstration, um, I'm going to try starting to work on the wreath. So I pulled that uh, kit out. I'm going to orientate myself and uh, I'm going to shut the light off so there's not so much glare. And hopefully you can still see that uh, quite a bit. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a white piece of paper behind here so that uh, it's not getting confused with the background. Forget the white paper. We're going to go with a uh, cutting mat, which I uh, usually paint on, uh, and it's a nice contrasting color. So uh, we'll do that. I am going to uh, shake out a few. Um, we're going to go and do maybe this area here and uh, get this one flower done together. So we'll zoom you in a bit and I'll get out the diamonds. So just so we know, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, B here. Looking at the drills on the uh, uh, packaging itself is where you're going to find the code that corresponds to the code on here. So this is the uh, B and this is B here. So I've shaken some out. going to load up the wax. So remember there's a piece of plastic on top of the wax on both sides. So just peel that back. Fill your pen up with some wax so that we can easily pick up the things. Now we're going to have to peel this plastic backing off. And I don't want to peel all of it off, so I'm just going to peel a certain area off. So I'm going to actually take some scissors and just I'm just going to peel off a portion of the time because I'm not going to do this whole thing right now. And just peel that up and then I'll just set scissors on top to hold it. So these are what I am placing. This is the B. So these are a marquee cut uh, stone and they're flat on one side obviously and that's the side we're going to place it right where the B goes and uh, just make it. It's uh, very sticky so once you place it down just kind of push it a little bit just to make sure it's anchored to the glue. Wow, that'll be nice. Okay, now we're looking for a A. The A's are the large circle bobbles. And we're going to stick that right there. Nice. Just thought I would bring you along while I quickly uh, put all of these into containers. I just use a black sharpie and I write on top of my container. Uh, you can also put a piece of tape on top if you want, but it just comes off clean with some hand sanitizer later. This kit is both numeric and alphabetical. So there's one, two, three, and those are the diamonds, the drills, the round drills. And then we've got uh, the shapes are all letters. So that's kind of fun. While I'm placing these into the little containers, I just want to show you this one is very cool. So this is C and uh, yeah, kind of looks like it has a star on it. Very cool. Never seen a uh, one cut, a drill cut like that. So they're white and uh, have some iridescent on them. Very cool. Okay, so that didn't take very long. There are a total of nine different drills or stones and uh, different sizes, different shapes. Very, very interesting. I haven't seen these before. So uh, now that they're all into a case, It'll be a little bit easier to uh, carry on and do some diamond painting. Let me turn off the light. I'm just going to quickly go off camera and complete this area here so that we can see how the center is going to turn out. So that's mainly number two. So that's shake some of these out and you can see them. Very cool. I'll be back as soon as that's done. Okay, so I'll just keep doing this on my own and you will see the 
completed wreath at the end of the month video. Uh, so, uh, but so far there is no problem. Uh, it seems to be quite sticky as a canvas. The uh, it's definitely legible. There's no problem seeing what the numbers are. And uh, yeah, no, quite happy. I'll just put that plastic wrap back over top and I'll complete this again later on. I'll zoom you back out. I want to thank Outdoor Tide for sending me these two fun Christmas decoration crafts. Uh, the wreath is beautiful. Uh, I think that this would be a great idea to do with a girlfriend. Uh, order a couple and have a ladies night with a, a holiday drink and this probably would take you about an hour so lots of time to chit chat and also uh, get a little Christmas craft done. I think this one is a little bit more involved. There's more diamonds to be placed. It will take a little bit longer but I think it's going to be a really fun addition to my mantle and I'm looking forward to completing it. Um, yeah definitely uh, I think that this is going to be great and uh, if you are viewing this video during the week uh, for Black Friday, then by all means, if you're thinking of buying something from Outdoor Tide's website, uh, check out the description below and take advantage of the discount coupons that are available. Uh, depending on how many items you buy, your discount goes up. So all that uh, information will be in the video description. If you are seeing this and the Black Friday has come and gone, uh, have no fear because Outdoor Tide and I have worked together once before in the past and they have assured me that the discount code JI5OFF will remain useful uh, to anybody who ever wants to use it. So you can always make sure that you're getting at least 5% off uh, when you're ordering from Outdoor Tide. So thanks again. I look forward to uh, finishing both of these projects and showing them to you on a future uh, completed pages video. Uh, because I've started adding all my craft items to the month end video as well. I hope you're having a crafty day and I hope you do something fun this weekend. And until next video, take care. Bye bye.